Eli. It's the Book yeah, Eli yeah. show live and direct from the LRT. <laughs> Living room talk. We got interviews, music, celebrities, and many, many more. Lock in by subscribing, liking, share, and leave that comment below on the channel of Harlem Vets 11 on the Book of Eli show with the LRT family. Living room talk. Reason why I help the change is because. And the reason why I help the change is because. And the reason why. And the reason why. And the reason why. I Yo, what's going down, y'all? It's the boy, the book of Eli's show, live and direct, and I go by the name Bo. Check this out. So, I noticed about your boy Troy Av and your boy Mano going through a few, you know, back and forth, back and forth. At first, I was like, oh, shit, this is crazy. Like, didn't expect that, and it, it doesn't even look right. But I, as a marketer, as a marketer, branding, this is what I've been doing for years, as cross-marketing and bringing awareness, I don't buy it. I'm going to tell you why. Mano is a real one. Like, I don't see him ever trying to clout chase unless it's for the bag. So, him holding a chain for seven years or six years or whatever that they say he did for, did it for, it just didn't, it didn't, it didn't add up right. Like, so to me, I feel like this is, a, this is either going song or album coming out because, it just didn't sound right. Like, Mano come from the streets where he would smack you or punch you in your face if you violate or disrespect or say his name in a funny way. I don't necessarily see his approach being valid for real. I think it's more of a business uh, situation. Excuse my phone was on. I think it was more of a, 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 I think it was more of a business situation. You know what I mean? Just like how Takashi 69 be doing his business situations, like getting beat up. But we're going to get to that later. But with the Troy Ave and Mano, Mano keeping his tra- chain and revealing that he has it in a box of, in a box of ice in the back of a car with his mans. They say it's fluguazy, it's trash, it's whack, it is garbage. He said it's fake. I don't understand the, mo- the, the, the motives behind it. Um... Maybe to defame Troy Ave and his credibility or whatever have you. Um, I even seen your boy uh, China Mac uh, taunting him on the internet by showing up at his block, Troy Avenue in the Brooklyn, New York area. I don't know what that's about either. But we want to stick to one subject. This is about accountability. You're obviously not a, a rich nigga that wears real jewelry. Brother, you should never talk money and jewelry, please. This one is here. Is the diamonds real? Very curious. This one here. Oh, no step on my diamonds. You know. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. I just want to check the earrings. That's choice jewelry. It's a, it's a We're checking all choice jewelry. You gotta check them. Man. What's up? Is it real? Is it random stuff? Everything is real. I can oh tell. A lot, of, a lot of people don't take the jewelry. They go, like, oh okay. no, no, I'm losing. Okay. Scared, uh, fix me. What is this? What? What, Gotti? What is this? What? What is this? What the fuck? This is a piece. This is a piece of shit. This is a. This is. This is a piece of shit. I be in the hood, drop Wrangler. Wrangler. Tell the paper in my post, cause I'm shit. Cause I'm shit. And the reason why I held this chain is because. And the reason why I held this chain is because. And the reason why I held this chain is because. And the reason why. And the reason why. And the reason why I held this chain is because. Let's get to that. Any man that get up every day and put this hunk of dark ass metal. This is Fugaga. This is horrible. You can't. You, what is this? Why don't you put this on and pose in real quick? No. Throw that shit in the garbage. Why don't you put this on and pose in real quick? No. Throw that shit in the garbage. Tomino and Troy Ave. Okay. Um, I don't personally buy it, but I do want you guys to look and listen to what Mano says and also what Troy said. But most importantly, listen to what Mano said. You let me know with the comments below if you really feel like it's valid. If you feel like these grown men are really beef, beefing and bumping heads for real, for real. Um, yes, you hear a lot of stuff about New York rappers, how we are so easy to be diverse and go against each other. We hear that a lot, very often. Very true. We hear that a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But at the same token, I don't know. I don't know New York's 
rappers to be doing it, doing this. Like, because practically everyone in New York is so small, everyone know each other. Like, everyone know each other now. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like it used to be in the 90s where you had to figure out who, who was clicking with what click and da-da-da-da. Everybody just about know each other. So I don't know, man. I, I just, just don't buy the, 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 the feeling of him keeping his chain. I don't even think that's really his chain. Uh, as we see evidence online that Mano had the same chain on on several other videos as well. So it's like, damn, bro, like, how do you go about this whole concept? So my opinion, my thought, this is really a promotional use. This is not a real uh, uh, beef. This is not real. I feel like a beef is when niggas catch hands outside. They meet you at a spot. You got to get it popping. Or you let enough rounds or something like that, which it does not ever need to get to. Too many of us is dying as it is. That shit is trash. That's why. Um, Mano is way older than Troy Ave. I honestly think Mano should just be the bigger man and teach uh, the youngster, you know, how to go about a certain situation. Like he he claimed that he did in the past. Troy Ave used to come to him for advice. And I guess that shit was washed and it died after a while. I don't know what happened. You know, it's none of my business. But. The public part of it, my business, is the fake chains, um, allegedly the fake chain that was shown with Mano's hand in the car with his homie talking about the Troy Ave. Did Troy Ave really flaunt it, fake jewelry? I'll be honest with you, about 99.9 .9 of the artists that first comes out are flaunting fake jewelry. Newsflash, half of this shit is not real. I know a lot of the youngsters really think that this... Uh, this um, image of wearing big flashy chains. If you don't use that fucking money for real estate, you're bugging. If you want to, fl I don't mind. I don't, I, listen, in the hip hop co culture, it's cool to have at least a minimum of a one to two chains. Cool. But when you got 20, 50, 60 chains on one neck, barely can use it, barely can flaunt it because your neck is hurting, it's heavy now, you're looking kind of corny. You look corny. Now, any woman that think that's attractive, you got to say where her mind is at. She's corny too and she's broke. Because a mind of a woman and a mind of a man is not thinking about buying a chain. They're looking at property, uh, longevity, uh, you know, uh, generational wealth, things of that nature. So I'm not really feeling the whole idea with the chain shit. It's just corny. Um, I don't know. Now, as far as Troy, Va Troy Ave, people are saying Troy Ave is a snitch. He snitched on somebody. I'm not too familiar with that other brother, so I'm not going to disclose that. Y'all could go ahead and Google that shit. But if he's a snitch, if that's if that was Mano's motive by him because he's a snitch, let me just put out a fake chain and say this is his. Eh, it's like it's, it's kind of a reach. I don't even know if that's real either. You know, at all. I don't. I don't really see. I don't know. I don't know. But you guys leave a comment below. Y'all let me know. Do you think Mano was just uh, promoting something? Or get ready to promote something. And Troy Ave is on in it with like they both on to it. Like they both know about it. And they like, yo, they had like a phone call, private call, like, yo, bro, you talk about my fake chain. And uh, yeah, yo, bro, you make a video right now and make a song about it. Da da da. Yo, yo, we're gonna get these views, yo, we're gonna get this money, son. I that's the only thing logical I could think of. Yo, leave that comment below, man. We're gonna get back to this another topic. Peace.